Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm here as always, Jimmy Ventura in the booth with me as always is Rick Shivani, but we've got a special guest star, the new world champion, Fimir. Hello. Hello, fans of La Lucha Libre, the champ is in the building, you can be happy about that or not, I don't care, I'm the champion now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Unbelievable night at the Royal Rumble, and yeah, probably highlight of the night, the five-month reign of JBD finally came crashing to the end at, uh, at the off, hand of the incredible Fimir. Congratulations, sir. Thanks, thanks. I knew, I knew that a, a properly uh, early GG is absolutely unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's been proved time after time. You just need to do it in the right time, the right moment, and that's it. That's it. It's game over. The, it wow. certainly was. I don't think any of us expected it. Certainly not in that manner. Yeah, it was uh, Yeah, really one of the most incredible, surprising moments in JFW history. It was. Ham, Ham, can, Ham, Ham can fuck off. Sorry, I just thought I'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> it was br the rumble was brilliant. <laughs> we have title changes, clowns, terrorist attacks, it was a epic. small man trying to lift the big man. Everything. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Right. And now we've got the Women Door Over Challenge in an amazing match. Just Joe somehow defended his title, and now he's got to put it on the line again the day after. No rest for the wicked with the uh, the Wemdo Championship, of course. But yeah, incredible that he's still the champion. Uh, not many of us expected that against the mighty Chug Manmilk last night. And yeah, let's see what order he is up against tonight. Oh boy. It's the new wow. guy, Noalius. Oh, here comes Noalius. He put on an incredible showing in the Royal Rumble itself. I thought he was going to walk into the JFW and snatch away the WrestleMania title shot. He fell just, just short of that. But he could instantly become the Webdope champion. Boy, howdy. He has got some eyebrows, yeah. <laughs> there is there's some uh, mixed reactions in the crowd. It seems that Noalius is going to have to... Uh, uh, donate some uh, subscription <laughs> to make them happy. Oh, <laughs> he held us sort of make them merciless. Being <laughs> <laughs> oh, the merciless after living in the gym for five years, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He means business, does Noalius, and I honestly, I fear for just Joe. And I fear for the fact that he won't fear for himself. Yes, I don't think just Joe is able to feel a uh, fear. Or anything. <laughs> sure doesn't look like he feels any fear. <laughs> He's building up a, a cheeky little legendary Wemdope title run here. We've had two defenses already now. I don't think anyone expected him to win it in the first place. If he makes it three and puts away the mighty new boy, Noalius, then yeah, I think we're, we're really on a roll. But that's a massive if. This could be the end of the road for Just Joe. It could be. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the wind up champion. <laughs> the Prince of Pegas, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Nitrimus. 
Thankfully, Dio wore a little makeup last night. Was uh, was far more agreeable to look at, eye to eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't terrifying at all. <laughs> it was uh, really surprising that you know being dressed like a monster make him look better. <laughs> that should make him think. And I know Dio thinks about a lot of stuff. You know, meanwhile he's enjoying his fuel uh, for dinner. He can uh, think about that. Think about the. Uh, Equity line of uh, dressing as a clown. <laughs> oh dear. It is. Van on top. It's going to get resorted a bit soon because uh, we're going to have 2K22 soon, so there will actually be people added and stuff, and hopefully it will all work properly. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So, just as Blood Bowl's going into the shitter, <laughs> JFW might be <laughs> flying up into the stratosphere. It might be, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I can get it early as well and, like, you know, get some uh, get some hype from the, the new re release. I don't know if they, I don't know if they like, if 2K like give give games out early or not. But hopefully, I'll ask. I'm going to ask soon. That'd be great. That'd be really great. Yeah. I'm really interested to see what Noalias has here, guys. Like, it's one thing to be in a rumble, isn't it? It's a really unique kind of matchup. And he did do himself proud. But this is very, very different. One-on-one -on -one singles competition. Go for the pins and submissions. This is a whole different kettle of fish. Oh, well. Oh! <laughs> well, that is some start. Yeah. Boy, well, clearly no alios wants the title. Wick as well as strong and just shrugs that off. Oh my, oh my, oh my day. God. It's the Alt F4. Alt F4. That could be it. Yes. This would be ridiculous. Oh my god, it's <laughs> What? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming, Joe. <laughs> well, Joe, at least don't lose your smile, Joe. <laughs> well, that's the web dump title sorted out for the next ten years. <laughs> it's up there, Sean Batal. It's up there. <laughs> I think this is uh, one of the quickest uh, title matches I've ever seen, and I've seen and been in more than a few. <laughs> Could Noalias have the most potential of any new JFW superstar in the history of the JFW? He's, I mean, I think Pepper Biscuit has had more potential, but Noalias is definitely up there. <laughs> yes, yes, clearly yes. There you go, what a what an instant victory and that that's gonna be the new face of the Wem Dope Championship for maybe well, who knows how long, eh? Unbelievable. Scary, scary start to Monday Night War. <laughs> <laughs> well now we've got Dansk Dansk Revolution, Zetok and K Fog taking on CBT, Cocky and Moradan. Well, yeah, we're, we're here again in the tag team division. Wrestle Kick Nation, hang on to the belts and, and in style, might I say. I mean, it was a good match and six feet down under put in a decent show, but every single time they find a way to do it. Flicky almost by himself last night. Store did make some saves and we've got to find another title contender. Could it be either of these? One, two tag teams here. Maybe, of course, uh, PTK was in the Rumble, Moradan was in the Rumble, so uh, they're, they're starting, you know, it's starting off Zetok versus Cock in the middle of the ring, they're the fresher guys, but um, yeah, it should be, a, should be a banger. I make uh, no secret of my love of CBT, um, the tag team, <laughs> um, and uh, they are, for me, the greatest tag team champions of all time. Surprisingly, unbelievably, because you never expect them to win a single match, but they are so, so good as a tag team. Uh, Dank's Dank's Revolution, on the other hand, kind of the very definition of stuck in the mid card. It would actually be really nice to see them break through and uh, make a run at the goal. 
Someone needs to clip that. <laughs> I make no secret of my love for CPT. Yes, yes. Uh, I was uh, trying to eat my dinner and I have problems with that uh, hidden Rick's confession. <laughs> Hey, I I clearly said the tag team. <laughs> that, that second, that second, that uh, to you, that's that's uh, cool a being, cool a being, you know, cognitive behavior therapy, you know, which is a very uh, well proven uh, way of uh, deal with anxiety and depression. But in this context, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, what an entrance. <laughs> We're here. No, but yeah, apart from that, you were right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for actually focusing on the wrestling for a second. That's, that's yeah, great. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were the one who decided to take a detour in your personal life, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Squirrel Dude. I owe you one. <laughs> oh, glorious. Here comes the... Favorite, one of the favorite stack teams of Rick. Yep. <laughs> Clearly, just the tag team is the only CBT he likes. <laughs> but who isn't a fan of CBT, really? They're great, aren't they? Despite they look like they should be the bad guys, right? This crazy Australian. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and the literal goblin, but they're somehow the good guys that Jeff W and fan favourites. And also their well, signature is attacking, you know. Ever since 1996, everyone's loved an anti-hero, right? Yeah, that's true. Why 1996? Oh, that was the, uh, the NWO. Ah. Uh. And, and also uh, Steve Austin's King of the Ring win. Uh. We have knowledge about the wrestling history. I know, it's unbelievable, isn't it? I'm always impressed by Rick's encyclopedic knowledge of double double E. <laughs> oh, see, talking control, feeling cocky. <laughs> <laughs> well, well no, yes, he is. Him. <laughs> Something else Rick likes to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. At least I do it privately. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, Cocky off to a great start here. Got uh, got Zetok hung up to dry in the corner with Marinam and Sheila. Mm. Uh, good uh, tag team work uh, of CBT, always, you know, having control of the ring. <laughs> Oh, nice reversal of the whip, though. This could be PTK time. It is. Yes, it is. It is. Oh. oh. Inverted RKO. Cocky going for the tag. Got cut off by PTK. And what's he got in store for him? This doesn't look good. Oh, oh, oh face first. Ref wisely getting out of the way of PTK there. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice attempt to come back from Cocky. Whoops him into the corner with Borodam. Oh, what a drop kick. Is it time for the tag for uh, Cocky? Oh, he is. He's, he's not managed to make it and he's in trouble again. And normally it's one of the strengths of CBT is the tags and he's just short again. Oh, PTK man. doing an excellent job of preventing that tag and controlling him. Great stuff from PTK. Oh, look at this though. Sweep the, the leg and here effect. we go. There you go. Now Moridan joins the battle. 
And this is great tactics. Both of them now taking the legs away from PTK. Completely removing that power, but he's going to make the tag. Moradam celebrating at just the wrong moment and wiped out by Zetok, but he pops straight back up. Oh, what a kick to the face. And what a face to kick. <laughs> oh, but uh, talking of kicks to the face, that is not going to help the sel selfies of Zetok. Launches him across the ring. Zetok looking for the tag, but PTK is down. We have seen PTK down there before. It takes him a very, very long time to get back up. Thankfully, Zetok got a kick out at one in him. Yeah, that nearly that nearly broke up uh, Dance Dance Revolution, didn't it? PTK staying on the ground for about ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's nearly the end, but they they made up after a, after a resolving their differences in the one v one match. Some amazing head kicks going in from both Zetok and Moradam here, getting a two count this time. Oh, beautiful right-hand counter from Moradam. Whipping him into the corner with Cocky. Is this going to be another tag? No, big boot from Zetok. Oh, boy. Oh. Moradam oh. desperately going for the uh, the tag, but he's cut off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What a move from Seto. Cocky has got to make the save, and yeah, he does. Yeah, Cocky's making the save. Oh, oh Dungeon Dance is... Revolution Clash. Oh, man. Doesn't seem to be bothering them, though. No, Moradam's still in a lot of trouble. Oh, Zeta going to the middle rope. Moonsault, <laughs> beautifully executed. Catching his breath, Moradam oh, yeah. for the tag, doesn't make it. That's that's Revolution doing an excellent job of cutting off the tags. Really are. Normally see CBT tagging in and out really rapidly, and that is one of their strengths. They have not had the opportunity to do this. Thanks, Tags Revolution have done their homework. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> his body did. PTK oh, this is horrific. There you go. Massive strength from PTK. One of his arms is bigger than more than body. <laughs> <laughs> really is. Oh, oh my goodness, me. And still doesn't let him tag. Oh, man. Neither Chokeslam. Chokeslam. Oh, Chokeslam, this could be. This could be. He oh. might be all right, though, because oh. it's a little bit oh. like throw teammate. He is. Wow, what a head scissor counter. <laughs> oh, oh Cocky won't tag. Cocky won't tag. Away. Cocky won't tag. <laughs> South rock bottom. Oh, no, Moradam, don't taunt. Don't taunt, what? buddy. He gets away with it. Wow, he does in the flying forearms. Take it down, PTK, time it again. What a recovery from Moridan. Still mm. desperately needs that tag. Oh, the low blow. <laughs> oh, I'm getting all excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least someone is. <laughs> Oh man, here we go. This is amazing from Moradam. You, you think he desperately he, has to tag out, but he's getting this done at the moment. He really is. Yeah. more than just playing with them. No oh, Rev took an age to get down there. Comfortable kick out at two. He needs to tag. He needs to tag. Surely now. What's he do? Oh, he wants to finish it. All right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Twice the fine for Rick. <laughs> Cocky gets Zetok. No, Zetok breaks it up. Oh, and Cocky <laughs> takes Zetok out. Moradam out on his feet, though, recovers now. Yeah, Moradam's struggling, and he's got to make that tag. And what a time to do it if he can, because Zetok completely gone. 
HDK probably ready for oh, the take. Oh, just beating Koki's got up to Zetog. Oh, man. It's all over. No. Oh. oh. And There's the tag, the finally. Oh, man. Oh, PTK, though. Too smart. Too smart for Koki. Gets out of oh. the ring. Koki too fast for PTK, though. Running Bulldog really nicely executed. Zetok finally recovered, though. You try right hand into snap suplex. The strength of Cocky. It's physique deceptive on this occasion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not just on this occasion, right, either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, so I've seen his workout videos. He's, he's stronger than he looks. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Great workout videos. Mostly thanks to Sheila, but still. Oh, boy. Uh oh. Oh, PTK. Oh, God. The, the oh. third time. What about day to be PTK? He's had oh. him grabbed, he's had him punched, and now he's had him kicked. That is oh. not a hat trick that you ever won. <laughs> oh, poor K Fog. Oh, my God. And now a sharpshooter to finish him off. Oh, you'd, you'd have to tap after all of that. Why is Zeton <laughs> not saving him? It's all done. Instant. <laughs> Instant tap. Instant. Instant oh, submission. Baby. After a night that probably PTK will never forget. <laughs> TVT showing why they're one of the greatest tag teams in JFW history. And unfortunately, Dance Tanks evening, Revolution what will can I do for you? wallow in the mid card for another week. It's <laughs> yeah. been clear is that PTK's bloodline dies with him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a great effort from Zetok, wasn't it? And then just PTK just got his balls destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> he really did. Yeah, I, I don't think Zetok can have any complaints about the tap, to be fair. Great celebration. <laughs> it sure is. Oh boy, now we've got some hot plim plum plus away at action. Um, we've got the million dollar bird, Papa Pikio. We've got the monkey, humorous chimp, and the piece of cabbage, Mr. Throwick. <laughs> okay, the chimp has been away from the GFW for a while. <laughs> yeah. Well, th this is truly the, the, the peak of evolution through through many different biological lines. <laughs> yeah. But much much like the tag team division, we, we need a new contender for the title. But unlike the tag team division, it feels like you're just throwing somebody to the wolves, right? Because somebody gets the glory of becoming number one contender, but then they have to go through the humiliation and destruction that is facing Hancock for the Plim Plum Blues Away title. Yeah, he's, he's unbeatable, isn't he? <laughs> Who's going to do it? How are they going to do it? It remains to be seen, but the next pay-per-view in just over two weeks. Uh, or no, actually, nearly three weeks, right? But, point is, there's only two more episodes of Claw before the next pay-per-view. And it's going to be the Elimination Chamber, so maybe... If Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship is contested in an Elimination Chamber, maybe that could be how Hancock could lose his title. It's, I mean, he's overcome some ridiculous odds in the past, but you still couldn't, you still couldn't expect him to win, could you, against five other contenders in a, a chamber as destructive as the Elimination Chamber. Like, he might be the favorite out of the six, but he can't be favorite to win against not winning. You'd expect him to lose the belt in that match, right? Yeah. If it is, I, we don't know, we don't know the card. We'll have to see what, uh... Mr. Jims McMahon thinks of, uh, you know, see what happens and see, see what it is. But yeah, that could be that could be his sternest test yet, couldn't it? For sure. It really could. Yeah, we don't know, Matthew. We don't know. Will Rick? Yeah. You think Rick gets off easy? Oh man. Maybe he has got a little bit of favoritism from Jims, but then Jims did, did assault him one time, so maybe not. 
Rick doesn't get off easy. He needs CBT to help. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> Storm was on it as well. <laughs> 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 yeah, that random head that was incredible. First, from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mr. Most prestigious cabbage <laughs> in wrestling history. Yeah. Top cabbage in the history, yes. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of uh, competition on the cabbage front, but yes. <laughs> Representing not just cabbages, but vegetables of all kinds. <laughs> a huge following has Throak. <laughs> Absolute buffet of supporters. Of the planet. The billion dollar bird. <laughs> He's a phenomenal superstar, but he has succumbed to Hancock before. That's not to say somebody doesn't deserve a second chance. Anything can happen on any given night in sports. Yep. Vermeer, for example, may have been inspired by the incredible comeback of Nadal from two sets down. Yes, yes, I have, you know, I was all on the line. So I had to, you know, follow the spirit of Nadal. But instead of spending five hours, let's say, spend five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some wrestlers uh, prefer to be like taxi drivers, only worrying about the length of the trip. I am more like a prostitute, only matters the ending. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Throak wisely staying out of it for a moment. Chim takes down Papa Piccolo and then Throak coming from behind. <laughs> oh, but Chim catches it. Great ring awareness from Chim. <laughs> oh, head of the cabbage rammed into the turbuckle. And then Chimp slips down the back of Papa Piccolo. Chimp on fire. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think for Chimp uh, getting a chance to get the uh, fighting Hancock will be a dream come true. Don't forget that the Chimp and the Scousers have a long story of animosity. It's <laughs> true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind seeing Chimp versus Hancock. That sounds like a pretty good match, actually. <laughs> the head of the cabbage. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sonic Gab, yeah, he's humorous chimp, so, you know, Cuddles is a humorous monkey, kind of. <laughs> oh, here comes Papa Piccolo, takes down Throak. Hurricane Runner on Chip goes for the pin, just a one count. Really oh, nice man. series, though, from Papa Piccolo there, and still in control. Oh, hitting the head of the cabbage. The shape of Throak's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it incredibly can actually be made, to be fair. With <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was That's something. what big wrestling performance looks like. <laughs> right, keeps missing with these uh, flying forearms. Lands the drop kick though, actually helps Chimp out a bit. Yep. Counted again. Struggling to find his way a little bit, Throik, and taken down by Papa Piccolo. Chimp and Papa Piccolo both at their moments, but Throik really, really getting stuck in the middle right now. Mm -hmm. oh, lovely series of kicks and punches from Chimp, but he's going to send Papa Piccolo to the outside. Oh, that's a heavy landing. How many feet of concrete tonight, Jim? Oh, uh, 15. Not, not half as many as last night, or maybe literally half as many. Um, I forget, but yeah, Papa Piccolo definitely suffering. Oh, I thought he was going for a, a sleeper with his legs there, but nasty elbows. I think I saw a leaf peel away. 
everybody <laughs> hitting throw it on the head. <laughs> what colour do cabbages bleed? That's a good question. Do they bleed gravy? <laughs> Jawbreaker <laughs> counter on oh, Papa Piccolo. Oh, and then he saves him. This could be it. Yep, Papa Piccolo's down. This really could be Oosh. it. Chimmy control. Yeah, chip pick slab, and he's going up top. If Papa Piccolo doesn't recover, there's no way Throx getting up from this. Beautiful. GG. GG. But Papa Piccolo is getting up. And he's no. getting in. No way. Oh, oh my goodness. Money. Oh my goodness. The timing. Oh man, what a maneuver. Absolute last split second save from Papa Piccolo. Brilliant, brilliant ring generalship from him. And now completely taking it to Chimp. I don't think we're going to see through it. Get up again. Oh, my days. Pin the boat. Count it, ref. Count it. Count, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh so my close. goodness. How did Chimp find a way out? And finally, throw it stirring. Not recovered yet. But finally having a go at getting back to his feet. Stretching okay. out the, uh, the arms. Oh, the cuddler do. Throck letting this go, no, decides oh, to break it up. Oh, I'll be giving you so an easy target to throw it. Oh, nice. This could be it. Steals the pin. Mm. Oh, oh okay, we'll clutch. <laughs> We've seen one tap out tonight. Oh, chimp powering out. Massive selling of Chimp. Beautiful snap suplex throw. Again, finding himself in trouble. Chimp shouldn't celebrate in a triple threat, though, because you give your third opponent the chance to recover. Yep. Okay, look at this. Oh, counters. But is unable to counter Papa Piquillo. <laughs> oh, taking both men down. No, chip reverses. Mm -hmm. What is this? Both men go into the top and throw X on his feet. <laughs> wow. And again, throw with punishing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Two attempts to throw it to break it up. Papa Piccolo completely gone. Throw it's got Jim. <laughs> throw it might have just won. He's going to the top. Oh, <laughs> if he lands this, it's over. Surely throw it doesn't win this match. Oh, oh my goodness. The, he missed the oh, he's hurt himself. He's hurt himself too much. Oh, no. He's completely gone. He has been absolutely battered and bruised, has Throck, throughout this match. Oh, no. And here comes Papa Piccolo, just too late from Throck. Yep. Definitely had it won, but it was just too high risk, even when it landed. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <again>. oh. <laughs> Head of the cabbage. And that has got to be GG. And here it is. Oh man, the billion dollar bird. Well, Fix well, well. Boom. What a statement from Papa Piquillo. Yep, huge victory. Often was in control in this one. Chimp had his moment. Throat did right at the end, but generally suffered and didn't have enough left to finish it off. Yeah, Papa Piccio, absolutely phenomenal performer. Showed himself at his best tonight. I'm sure he'll have Hancock in his sights. Yeah.
Are you, are you playing uh, Blood Bowl after this, right? Uh, I am, yep. Glorious. Because I'm, I'm shattered. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. I'll just my, break my, you. Yeah, I'm a bit tired for the vamps because flip me, they take it out of me. So it might just be a bit of chill out, fun chaos tonight. But uh, but yeah, definitely playing a bit of Blood Bowl. Nice. Well, well speaking of Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh, there you go. Seri and Ducky. I think this is my time to leave. So I can uh, watch a man with a man ban for uh, <laughs> even a single second. Okay, well, thank you, know, you very now much. Now that uh, I'm a champ, I have a, some, I have a stand. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming on and joining this champ. Okay, guys. See you later. Have a good one. I'll see the rest of it on the uh, video on demand. Cool. Cheers for me. Can't wait to, to see your story continue as champion. Lovely to chat with you tonight, mate. See ya. Fun, chill out chaos. Yeah, that's a thing. Brainless chaos. Everyone loves a bit of brainless chaos. Shawnee, of course, wouldn't CCL with brainless chaos. Ducky has used vampires before sometimes. So there you go. Perfectly set up there. Totally not. <laughs> totally not grasping at straws. <laughs> <laughs> What a backstory to this match! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still had more depth than the Defincher code, to be fair. <laughs> From one Brett to another. Yeah. Yeah, he obviously loves to foul with peasants and... Uh... There you go, foul ducky foul. Pray to ducky if you want you, if you want some good fouls for your birds. Two of the best to ever do it at Blood Bowl. Shawnee, one of the best to ever do it in the JFW. Ducky's certainly had his moments. I still think of him as relatively new, but he's he's been around a while now, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Just hasn't really made the mark in the JFW that he's made in Blood Bowl 2. No, well, that's a very high bar, isn't it? A very high <laughs> yes, bar yeah. indeed. He, yes, uh, he's, he's had some of the most unique moments we've ever had in the JFW. Quite a master in the cages and the uh, the chambers and what have you. But yes, never quite strung a set of wins together to get his hands on the goal. <laughs> Here is the man bun himself. <laughs> To be honest, I've always quite liked Shawnee's buns. <laughs> God, Rick. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh, you, you can't say you like anything around here. What? <laughs> what is it with you guys? <laughs> I know one thing Rick doesn't like, which is the icon from Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked watching well, I wasn't watching one world Blood, one world one Blood Bowl, I was in it. I was but I was shocked that like, just seeing Rick being so so scathing that I just didn't know it was in him. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was me going easy is the really scary thing. <laughs> I tried to be as balanced as possible. <laughs> yeah, hello, Val. Uh, yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, yeah it was. It was funny, wasn't it? Because I thought the two people who would be like, you know, try to be diplomatic were still pretty scathing. So it was. It was fun. <laughs> Andy, Andy was fuming, wasn't he? Like mm. legit fuming. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you still is in the chat. <laughs> he was fuming. <laughs> Good start from Ducky here. No sign that uh, the Onihams are a thing anymore. I, I haven't had any confirmation on that. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? We had we had Chugs in his full Mr. Tato attire at, at the Rumble, and now we've got Shawnee back to his. Um, That's it. His his his, <laughs> his two sets of headphones. <laughs> Who knows? Seems like Fault Force uh, had his, his day in the sun with his one one day Wemdope title reign. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big clothesline 
from Shawnee trying to turn this one around a little bit. Stuck onto the ropes. Ducks underneath. Oh, lovely back body drop. Oh, but Ducky rolling straight back up. Belly to her back. Arm drag from Shawnee. Back and forth we go. No one able to get the upper hand here. Oh, boy. Ducky right. eats turnbuckle and turns <laughs> it around. Ooh. What is this? Haven't seen this before. Wow. No. He, he is the innovator. He really is. Yeah. Let's see what folks send me. Oh, I think I'm on Team Fantastic now. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, nasty surfboard stomp from Ducky, and he thinks that's enough. He only gets a two count, but just the one for now. I need some more Ducky fouls. Double underhook suplex. Lovely execution on that. Quite the technical wrestler, and a drop kick to the back of the head. Breaker from Shawnee. Whips Ducky into the corner. Oh, squashes him with a clothesline. Really going for that arm. I wonder how much the elbow pad's protecting him, though. Made of metal. Yeah, some people would call this cheating, wouldn't they, really? <laughs> metal uh, metal uh, elbow and knee pads. But, but, but then some, some wrestlers have a literal beak or claws, you know. It, mm. <laughs> everything seems to go in the JFW. True, yeah. Kurgol used to wear full plate, didn't he, when he was around? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Only a little unsure how to, to carry on this offense. Moves Ducky around. What's he got in mind? Oh, is it a knee drop? No, the beautiful knee drop. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, and now the cheater from Shawnee. Busts Ducky open and removes the turnbuckle padding. The ref seems really confused. I don't know if he's seen that or not. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Because you've still got to keep an eye on the action. Yeah. Oh, Shawnee. And the ref's, the ref's the fixing of four, the thing. But the, ref, the ref's sorting out the turnbuckle. The oh, ref's not there, Jim. Oh, man. Well, he Finally, hasn't the ref turns anyway. around, but, uh, yeah, Ducky getting out now. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, lovely reverse whip from Ducky. And we're going to the top. Oh, this could be as dangerous for the executor as it is for the executed. Shawnee with the counter, though. Oh, no. oh, it could be over. Pile driver. Oh, God. <laughs> He's exhausted, though, Jim. Took too long. Ducky recovered yeah. now. Shoulder tackle down. Beautiful kick and punch. Oh. Oh. oh my. Oh my goodness. Onto the metal <laughs> knee pad. And there's the first ducky foul. Just a little one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hard drag reversal by Shawnee, though. Not going to let this fly. He's not done yet. He knows not to lie down on the job when ducky's around. That's the last place you want to be. Oh, double and hooks, DDT! No Ooh. suplex! Oh my goodness, he absolutely launched him! He did, yeah. I didn't know Shawnee had it in him. Oh god, he didn't, he didn't have a stomp in him. <laughs> uh, nobody can foul like Ducky, that's the problem. Oh, there we go. Cheeky little taste of your own medicine from Shawnee. And another knee drop! It already bust him open oh, once! God. Oh no! Oh, he's profusely bleeding now, is Ducky, and choked out as well. Is it? Little dirty, isn't he, Shawnee, in the ring? He's the, some say he's the dirtiest player in the game. Yeah, I'm beginning to believe them. Softening up the leg for the figure of four again, if he gets chance. Catching his breath, though. Has been a long, arduous match already. Oh! oh! This could be it. This could be all she wrote. Woo! 
<laughs> there we go. Just worked on the leg. Already had this locked in once, so the ref is right there this time. That has got to be a tap. There's no way out of this for Ducky. No, sir. Shawnee wins. Second tap out of the night. Oh, man. Incredible. What a win for Sean. I love this music. It's perfect for Sean. <laughs> oh, look at this sportsmanship from Ducky, though. They fought on the blood ball pitch, they fought in the ring, and they admire each other's abilities in both. Yeah. I only hope that one day they play each other at chess. <laughs> mm. oh, wow. Okay, here we go. We've got a uh, Lemon and Fan Fox dress of business versus Steve Motti and Fugonomics. The Scousers. We already know that CBT are on their way back up the ladder. Title shots in their sights, but they're not there yet. And uh, both of these will want to, to stop them in their tracks. Lemon, unfortunately, missing out on the Plim Plum Plusaweight title last night. To be fair, it wasn't even close. But he's not a Plim Plum Plusaweight <laughs> traditionally. He is a tag team wrestler. And tonight we're going to see him in his own backyard at what he does best. The Scousers, absolutely phenomenal tag team, but been slightly out of sorts recently. They'll be determined to turn that around. Couldn't quite get it done in the Rumble, but can they get back on track for the titles that they called their own not so long ago? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wouldn't it be good if I learned how to do commentary? But until then, <laughs> until that day, <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's all I've got for you, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's great. You're, you're like the, the commentary equivalent of the jobber, right? You make me and Skuro and Vermeer and stuff look so much better than we actually are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, enhancement talent, that's me. <laughs> that's the official, <laughs> official terminology. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Lemon looking pretty fresh, to be fair. Doesn't look uh, too much the worse for wear. It was, it was a relatively quick <laughs> match last night for him. <laughs> and folks, completely fresh. Uh, Steve Motti was in the Rumble. I don't think Fugonomic made it, did he? I don't think we saw Fugonomic last we night. didn't, know. We didn't see Fugger or Fan Fox, so they're, they're the two starting in the ring. Yeah, so fair, fair match tonight in, in that regard. Mm. <laughs> Rumour has it that the Scousers brought some tequila and salt to the arena tonight, and now they're just looking to add the lemon. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Steve Martin, nice. <laughs> I hope so, Fun Fox. Let's see, let's see. This is a good one. This is a really good one on paper. <laughs> it is, yeah. I haven't seen Fugonomics for a while, have you? No, no, this is true. Yeah, I've seen just fugging around. I didn't know if that was Fugonomics, if he changed to just fugging around. I've noticed just fugging around in streams for a while. But yeah. Hmm. All right, they lock up Fugonomic. 
Gets the armbar in on Fat Fox. Reversed by Fat Fox. Very nice. Armbar of his own. And then Fuganomic with the turnaround. Back and forth we go. Beautiful technical wrestling. Goodness me. Fat Fox, arm dragged to the ground. Holds it on. And look at that roll through from Fuganomic. And they lock up again. Oh my stuff, word. Isn't what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? This reminds me of the 1950s, let alone the 1980s. <laughs> yeah. Stunning technical wrestling here from these two greats. Wow. That is unbelievable, isn't it? That, that was a heck of a series. And Fogonomics not messing around anymore. <laughs> Dumb's fan This Fox reminds to the me of world class. <laughs> Back in the 1980s. Yeah, flow, yeah, very true. Can you repeat that, Jim? I don't know what you want me to repeat. Um, Fugonomics and f just fugging around, is that it? Yeah. Uh, whips Fugonomics into the corner. No uh, no risk of a count out there. <laughs> oh, and up and over we go. Fugonomics desperately trying to make the Whoa, tag and Lemon good. lets him. Lemon really losing his bearings. It looked like Lemon thought he wasn't the legal man and then remembered that he was. 15 feet of concrete, I can assure you, is very, very deep. It's just, it's just thin for, for how the JFW's been lately, I think. <laughs> oh, what a reversal! Oh, Lemon go for a hurricane runner. Steve Motti, wow! Flying drop kick. I thought he was going to fall short. He made it. Incredible. Quite the athlete, quietly, is Steve Motti. Oh, and that is a perfectly executed spine buster. Two count already on Lemon. We did point out he was in business last night, and of course he was against their friend, the fellow Scouser Hancock. Oh, spinning heel kick. What a move. It's just the kind of thing Lemon can pull out from anywhere. He is dangerous to fight. You think you're in control and then boom, upside your head. <laughs> and here's a Lemon drop. Goodness me. Steve Motti in all sorts of trouble. It's right in front of Fat Fox. Doesn't go for the pin. Once more. Maybe taking out some of his frustrations. From facing Hancock last night. Maybe, yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Oh! Steve <laughs> Boy! Oh, mate. Oh, and he can't even tag! <laughs> that fox right on it. Oh, boy. What a sequence. I wouldn't want to be Steve Marty right now. And that's just because he's scoused. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't want to be scoused. I wouldn't <laughs> want to be scoused any time. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> oh, nice reversal for Steve Marty. Speed and beautiful DDT. Needs to find that tag soon. Doesn't look. Maybe he's going for it now, actually. I was going to say, it doesn't look like he is, but drags him over to the corner. No, goes for the pin. Wants for Gnomic to intercept it. No one's. Oh, 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 no one was coming in. It was that was pretty one. close. Surely Steve Martin's got to go for the tag. Yes, yes. Yep. Brilliant tagging from the Scousers. Fan Fox in all sorts of trouble now. If Fugonomic can get this together, they could have the win. Oof. Oh, desperate right hand from Fan Fox. Can't continue it, though. Too beaten up. Couldn't follow through. <laughs> Eats top rope. Oh, the sneaky and out from Fan Fox. <laughs> Fox's elbow! No, no, not, not Fox's elbow yet. And Fan Fox dragging Fugger over for the tag for Lemon. Really nice uh, tagging from both teams so far. They are experts and experienced wrestlers in this division. Uh oh, trouble in paradise! No, he's it! Oh, he ducked it! <laughs> Didn't get decapitated by the ring ropes and was able to, <laughs> to drop kick him. 
Oh, sneaky tug from Fun Fox. No way! Bookonomics saw it, thankfully. Belly to... No, German suplex, sorry. Mm. Brilliant German suplex. <laughs> Lovely <spot> suplex. bags <laughs> Oh, nice leg lock. Mm. Got that locked in. Cinched in real good. Fun Fox having to use the other leg and kick his way out. Oh, oh Fox, Fox bottom! Fox, Fox bottom! bottom. He's got it! <laughs> It's right in front of Lemon! <laughs> Steve Motti has got his work cut out here! Oh, oh beautiful them. from Steve Motti on two and a half. But he pays the price! There goes Steve Motti. Fuganomic's still in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> oh, pops up! Dropkick! He oh, was playing past. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. The thing is, Lemon is right there for the oh, save, and Funbox reverses! Doesn't even need him. Oh, this is all dressed for business. Scouse is in so much trouble. Yep, it's looking real bad for the Scouse. Opposites in many ways, aren't they? Dressed for business and <laughs> dressed for <laughs> robbing. <laughs> I'm sure the Scousers would argue that, uh, that, that theft is a business of its own. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> That folks quite tired now. Maybe, uh, maybe needs another tag to Lemon. Nice little elbow drop. Not quite a fox's elbow, but uh, a solid one nonetheless. Thinks it's enough. Oh, Steve Ooh, Mighty recovered. Nice save been. from Steve Mighty again. But again, he's paying the price. Neck breaker this time. <laughs> Just recovers in time to save, and out he goes again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crab walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to the top. Oh, man. If he can get there. No. No. Oh, God. Steve Mighty getting destroyed by Lemon on the outside. Oh, wow. We are not going to see Steve Mighty for a while. Fuganomic, though, having a long time to recover here as Fant Fox catches his breath. Oh, man. Has he left it too long? Yep. Oh, Arba. Ref didn't look too concerned. Steve Marty recovers once more. Here we go. Oh, now it's the Fox's elbow. Now it's the Fox's elbow. <laughs> oh, baby. The most electrifying move in JFW spots on a team. Steve Marty going to try and keep this one going for the third time. And Lemon gets, gets him and it's over. No. What? Oh, my goodness. Kicked out at two and three quarters. Steve what? Marty sent to the outside once more. Well, I have no idea how Fuganomic kicked out, but he's still in so much trouble, Jim. Oh, I, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Lemon protected it, it was over, and somehow he kicked out. Wow. Dress for business feeling robbed like so many that interact with the Scousers. <laughs> but here comes, it's not over though, they can still win it, and that is beautiful double teaming with no Steve Marty. This seems so ridiculously over. <laughs> And oh. it, no, what? Oh. What? Oh. How is Fuganomics finding these kickouts? I have no idea. Oh. Again, Steve Motti back on the outside. It's crazy stuff. Whips him into his corner, does Lemon. Beautiful. Punches on the top rope. And a huge uppercut. Sends him to the canvas in the corner. Oh my, oh my word. Oh, but Fuganomics back to life. Where's he finding this? No, spinning kick. Catches him. And a hurricane runner. Oh, he's so in so much trouble still. And it's yeah. right in the corner, Jim. That's it this time. Yeah. No. Oh my days. Steve might destroyed again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever back. seen someone beaten up so badly. Oh, they've got Fat Fox! They've got Fat Fox! Steve mm -hmm. Mighty's okay, this time it's Fat Fox in trouble! And Lemon's out of it! Oh, <laughs> nice right! Left, sorry, from Lemon! Hops over the ring rope! Hits him in the corner once more, but this time it is Fat Fox down! And Steve Mighty is ready for the save! Lemon exhausted now, though. Been giving it everything he's got for an age. 
and chokes him out. Booger desperately in need of the tag. Not that I'm sure Steve Mott is that much fresher. Basically been a, a hurricane tag match. Yeah. Just wasting a bit of time there alone, wasn't he? Wasn't expecting a wasn't expecting a submission or anything, but you know, at least he wears him down a little bit. Gives yeah. Fan Fox a chance to come back. Oh! And here we go. He's gonna want Fan Fox in a minute, because that's stirring. the three count! Fan Fox Fat is Fox getting just up. getting to his feet! Can Fan Fox intercept Lamb and he's gonna try, surely! Oh. oh, sorry, Steve Motti, obviously not Lemon. Lemon making the pin. How? How is Fuganomics making these kickouts? Just absolutely outrageous. Steve Motti has been so destroyed, he's not even getting close to breaking it up anymore. Yeah. This has been point. all Fuganomic hanging on in human effort from him. They desperately want the goal. He certainly does. He wants the gold again bad. Yeah, this is This is unreal. What a performance. True grit. I, honestly, if I'm dressed for business right now, I let Fugonomics tag because I'm just thinking <laughs> I, I can't put him away. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Takes down Lemon. Somehow, Fugonomics fighting back after all he's been through. Camel clutch. Surely not. Oh, Surely not. <laughs> what an end that would be. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> Lemon powers out. Sweeps the legs. <laughs> oh, Booger with the counter. This could be this could be Steve White. Can he get all the way over there? It's a long way to go. Sensible snapmare takedown. Kick to the back. Oh, That's Lemon. Steady, no sell. He's juicing up. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Fan Fox, finally. Indeed, son. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, this is hard to watch. Fog has been through so much. <laughs> it's not getting any better. Series of clotheslines from Fan Fox. Just looking for the big one now. Spinebusters there. Oh, baby. Maybe another big move to follow soon. Drop kick in the corner. Oh, shrugged off. Yeah. And a drop kick of his own. Go for the tag. <laughs> Look at the for goodness sake. Make the tag. <laughs> oh. Great desperation offense from Fuganomic, but look at the exhaustion. He's got to go to his corner, but he's completely out of it, Jim. He's running on instinct and it pays the price. He's down again. Oh, that was the chance. Oh, oh no. Here we go. Fox bottom. Fox bottom. Lemon's there. This is this is it. It's got to be all over. Yeah, Steve Motti has not been able to get close for ages. And indeed. Oh, what? <laughs> what? It's impossible to beat Fuganomic tonight, Jim. It's, <laughs> you could hit him with a truck, you could put him under six feet of concrete, and he'd find a way to get his shoulder up. Oh my god. Oh, and here's the. Here's the. I uh, can't remember it. Honeymoon special. Oh. Oh, fuck, straight out though, and has pinned. He's been the ref doesn't notice. Oh. The ref took ages. It's got though, he's got him. <laughs> wow, what? what a reversal from Fat Fox. He's got him. Took something special there. Wow. Wow. The rest of business just demolished the Scousers, Jim. They absolutely annihilated them, yeah. Fugger might never be the same again. Well, he wasn't really okay to start with, so let's not worry about that too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, no, that's incredible. We, we've rarely seen the Scousers manhandled like that. I kept expecting them to make some sort of comeback. It just never came. Mm. No, I don't think I've ever seen that. Lemon redemption for losing to Hancock last night, and these two are back on the road to another title shot. 
They didn't manage to beat Wrestle Kick Nation last pay per view. Maybe they'll get another chance to in the future. Maybe. Oh boy, now it's time for a main event. <laughs> the winner of the empty Royal empty Royal Rumble because of a terrorist threat, Goliath, taking on Artemis Black and Extreme Rules. I don't know why it's Artemis. <laughs> I don't know why he's been associated with this, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it, it could just be a completely random draw by Jim Man. Maybe Jim Man was walking down the corridor, just happened to see Artemis. Uh, for all we know, that might be the reason. Um, yeah. yeah, could could be absolutely anything. But yeah, here we are, baby. The number one contender to whatever title he wants to go after, Goliath Games. The absolute beast of JFW. Destroyed the entire roster um, in the summer and then uh, fell to some dastardly tactics, really, from uh, Rick, dreamt up by Space Cadet. <laughs> Couldn't, and also his team let him down at Survivor Series. But he definitely gets another shot now at WrestleMania. Yeah, he gets the choice. He could go for the, the World Championship if he wanted, couldn't he? But you've got to imagine he's going to go for, for revenge on Rick. Well, I, yeah, I don't know, Jim, because, uh, I, you know, no no disrespect to Famir, but you might think that's the easier match, right? Like, Famir, new to the JFW, got off to a, not the best start. Amazing out the blue win against JBG, but you might just think that's a fluke and it's it's there for the taking. Whereas Rick, a, a truly established JFW champion. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> Depends if uh, if you want to take the moral high ground or just take the easy road. The easy road or the high road. <laughs> Oh, baby. It is his opponent, from England, in <laughs> Interesting to see if Artemis can uh, put, up a, put up a fight here. Uh, you know, not, not traditionally in the elite tier of uh, JFW. He's, he's certainly taking a step up tonight, Jim. It'd be interesting to see if he stands up to that level. Yeah, it is a tough ask. He's stepping up a level for sure. <laughs> Space, that would be glorious. That, that might finally be the end of Hancock's run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be the end of Hancock's run. <laughs> <laughs> might be the only thing <laughs> that, can, that can end Hancock's run. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> glorious mortal back. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Jack Paul, yeah, but I thought it was quite good, wasn't it? The tank, the tank dick, I thought was a great. <laughs> it was a great thing. <laughs> he does like to fire his cannon, does live games. And Artemis is in the firing line tonight. <laughs> 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 Goliath's uh, chokeslam finisher could be called the money shot. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there a finisher <laughs> called the money shot? Yes. Was it? It was either Gold Dust or Val Venus, which. Uh, Val Venus Val was Venus. Kurt Cole. Val Venus, surely. Was it? Was it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, sorry. It must be Val Venus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 it had to be. <laughs> Gold or something. Yeah. Sand. Yeah, that's it. Oh, crunching backbreaker from Goliath Games. Huge size advantage in this one. But size isn't everything in the JFW. We've seen some amazing upsets. We wondered if Muppet might might win against him in the Rumble last night, of course. Mm. Oh, did I knock my mic? Have I suddenly gone quiet? You seem okay to me, Rick. I didn't uh... mm -hmm. Weird. I'll uh see if see if anyone else in chat is uh is struggling with it. Mm. 
Live Games taking it to the outside as he so often does. He likes the weapons. He likes the concrete. He likes fighting in the fans. Oh, I can hear you fine. That's weird. Okay, Night Demon can as well. Stall's probably just trolling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, onto the steel steps from seven feet up. And look at these right hands <laughs> just destroying any man. Oh, no. oh, oh, I'm a shrugs one off. Go on, Art. Chops to Goliath Games. Oh dear. <laughs> that didn't last long. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness me. <laughs> Complete and utter comedy mega dicing. Oh, <laughs> what a pointless little kids game! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go! Come on, Art! Beautiful armbar! Oh no! <laughs> it's the size difference is just too much here, dude. This is ridiculous. It sure looks like it, yeah. It's funny enough, Artemis the one with the bigger head. <laughs> <laughs> and no right space cadet. This should definitely have fifty thousand viewers at least. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pay for chat though, uh on, on the main on the main cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Live goes with the pin. That could be it already. He's absolutely destroyed him. Art just about kicking out at two, and the ref was pretty slow down. <laughs> this isn't going to take much more. Goliath game soaking in the adulation. He loves to be back. He must be loving the fact that he's the number one contender. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, maybe, Matthew. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Goliath's got to be careful he doesn't get too tight though. Needs to put this away right. Can't let this go on for 20 minutes. <laughs> the longer this goes on, the the higher the equity of Artemis. <laughs> that's true. That is true, isn't it? Yeah, like the that's the weakness of the big guys. They do gas out uh, earlier. You know, they haven't got the they haven't got the endurance of the smaller guys. We're seeing a little bit of a comeback here from Art. Oh, again, not for long, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. He took his head off. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, and here we go. The big that choke is. slam. Absolutely done. Art was battered, bruised, bloodied, and now destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's why he is the number one contender at WrestleMania. Whoa. <laughs> what a dominant, absolutely dominant performance from the line. It's incredible. <sighs> Maybe Artemis thought he was a goblin. <laughs> that was why he lost so heavily. <laughs> <laughs> Where <laughs> you go? <laughs> um, well, that's it. That is uh, because because Art always loses the goblins to them. That's why in 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 CCL playoffs. I mean, he loses to everyone in CCL playoffs, but you know, <laughs> he lost twice to the same goblin team in CCL playoffs. <laughs> um, wow, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <Well, Jim. laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, that is it for the show. Thank you very much, Rick. As always, absolutely glorious. Yeah, pleasure, Jim. Thank you for having me. Absolutely love it. <laughs> and thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Uh, thanks for Fimey who came in the champ. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.